With our modern interest in the environment, farming is important. But not all farms produce food. Pierre Kimitete lives in Tahiti. He's a pearl farmer. Are most pearls produced on farms now, Pierre? Yes, they are. Uh, pearls have been worn for thousands of years. Uh, divers used to look for them in the sea, but today most are produced by pearl farmers. How is a pearl produced? All pearls are made by oysters. A small piece of shell is put inside the oyster. The oyster doesn't like that, so it covers the piece of shell with mother of pearl to protect itself. And slowly, the pearl is made. How long does it take? About two or three years. The oysters are kept in baskets in the sea, and we turn the baskets regularly to make nice round pearls. It seems that Jordan's very busy with his new job. Apparently, it's all going well. Cindy tells me that the restaurant's been booked. I hear that Melanie's been accepted by an American university. I understand that he's gone to your Paris office. Sensible. Reliable, patient, modest, honest, tidy, cheerful, polite, kind, sociable, easygoing, ambitious, sensitive, Loyal. Will she be late? Yes, possibly. She might be late. Will it snow tomorrow? Yes, definitely. It will snow tomorrow. Will she get the job? Yes, possibly. She might get the job. Will the boss be here tomorrow? Yes, definitely. The boss will be here tomorrow. When do you feel best? A. In the morning. B. In the afternoon or early evening. C. Late at night. Do you usually walk? A. Slowly, often with your head down. B. Quickly. C. Moderately, with your head up. When you talk to people, do you A. Put your hands together B. Fold your arms C. Play with your ear or touch your chin When something amuses you, do you A. Smile B. Laugh quietly C. Laugh loudly Do you like this painting? Yes, I do. So do I. No, oh, I don't. The bride and groom are getting married. They're having the wedding at a registry office. The wedding guests are throwing confetti. The bride is carrying a bouquet. She's wearing a wedding ring. They've had the reception. They're going on their honeymoon. Lucy likes to give presents to all her friends at Christmas. Last year, she gave Cindy and Ryan a glass vase. They didn't really like it, however, so Cindy gave it to her mother for her birthday. Cindy's mother has only got a small flat, and she didn't have room for it. Jordan helped her with her computer, so she gave the vase to him to say thank you.
Coins are part of weddings in many countries. In Mexico, it is traditional for the groom to give the bride 13 coins. The coins mean that the groom promises to support his new wife. In China, the groom gives money too. It's wrapped in red paper or put in a red envelope. However, he doesn't give it to the bride. He gives it to the bride's friends to thank them for letting her go. In Sudan, the groom traditionally receives a present from his future mother-in-law. She gives him a garland of flowers to welcome him into the family. In Vietnam, on the other hand, it's the groom's mother who gives presents. She gives them to the bride's parents. She gives a plant. This shows respect. She also gives them something pink. Pink is the color of happiness. What do you think he wants? I've got no idea. Perhaps he's going to offer the job to you. It's more likely that he's going to give me the sack. Whatever he wants, I'll find out this afternoon. My name's Jason. I'm an undergraduate student at Newcastle University. I'm studying for a degree in law. It's a three-year course, and I'm in my second year at the moment. In my first year, I had a room on campus, but I live off campus now. I share a house with five other students. On most days, I attend one or two lectures. I take notes, and then at the end of the lecture, the lecturer usually gives us a reading list and an assignment. A week later, we have a seminar in a small group. One of the students has to read his or her assignment, and we talk about it. Have you been waiting long? No, I haven't. Where's Peter? He'll be here in a minute. Oh, here he is now. <laughs> What's he been doing? He's been looking for somewhere to park. Uh, sorry we're late. It's okay. I haven't been waiting long. Anyway, I've been reading this book. It's called Improve Your Memory. It's really good. Oh, right. Well, come on. The show starts in ten minutes. Have you got the tickets? The tickets? Oh, no. I've forgotten them. I've left them at home. I would like to apply for the post of operations manager. As part of my studies, I had a work placement. I was promoted to the position of assistant manager. I was in charge of a department of six people. I'm responsible for publicity. I have a qualification in Spanish. I've done courses in human resources and in marketing. I feel the need for a new challenge. Guess what? Have you heard? I've got some good news. I've got some bad news, I'm afraid. That's wonderful news. I'm very pleased to hear that. Oh dear. That's very sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Make a phone call. Make a mistake. Make a drink. Make a decision. Make a film. 
Make friends. Do some photocopying. Do the housework. Do the shopping. Do judo. Do a course. Do some damage. My car broke down yesterday, so I couldn't drive to work. I had to take the bus. It isn't a serious problem, so I won't have to buy a new car. The car will be ready today, so I'll be able to collect it after work, and then I won't have to go by bus again tomorrow.